wanted to talk about an upgrade I did was working on an, an Octoplex 3050 putting it in the MD it's a sorry M.2 card ran into a lot of issues with that uh, I went online looking for tips see if anybody else has run into the same issue I've seen a lot of people commenting about the same issue I had um, what I was using was a Western Digital black drive those are very nice they're very fast uh, I would recommend them plus it comes with the migration software that was a key factor on helping me to get that computer to run on the M.2 port. The main factor I ran with that was when you put the M.2 card in, the BIOS was updated to the latest version, would recognize the Western Digital Drive, but it would not boot to the Western Digital Drive. The main factor was, is when you get into the BIOS, there was not a whole lot of settings to configure your boot setup. What I ended up doing was installing the Western Digital software on the computer, creating a USB boot software one. So the migration software that you download from their website will allow you to make a USB drive that will boot into the cloning software. Once you have that set up, what you really need to do is unplug the old drive. Remove it completely. Reset your BIOS. Clear it all out. Back to factory default. Let the BIOS do the work for you. Let the BIOS detect the M.2 card that is located on there. Your computer will not boot after this process. If you put the old drive back on there and power it up, it will not boot. The BIOS settings are completely different to boot to the old style mechanical drive. It's set up as a RAID drive. If you take it off a of RAID, it won't boot. You have nothing but issues. This is the workaround that I found that really worked, that, that made it a lot easier and solved the whole issue. I've seen a lot, a lot of people online asking, how do you get this to work? How do you get this to work? This is how you get it to work. After you boot into that software and you have the drive hooked back up, the software will then recognize the Western Digital um, M.2 card because the BIOS will do the work for you so that it will make it so that that is a bootable drive. Everything I've tried, I tried for hours to try to get it to set up in the BIOS and I could not get it to set in the BIOS. There's not the right proper settings or choices you can pick in the BIOS, but the BIOS will configure itself for you. That's the key thing to remember because if you have a problem and you need to go back to the old drive, take out the M.2 board and just that drive, clear your BIOS, let the BIOS do the work for you, let it reset itself and find the drive and it'll boot back up. I've had to do that a few times in this process to get it to run. Once you get the software to boot and it recognizes the Western Digital, it will clone your data from the old drive to the new drive. No problem from that point. At that point, I just simply removed the old drive, rebooted, everything came up. But I did find that that was the hardest thing is usually once you go put the card in, even on a different style computer that I've done it before, 
it recognized, it ran through, it ran through perfectly. For some reason with that model in that BIOS configuration, it won't let you change those options. So this was the easiest remedy, the only remedy I found. And I'm hoping this will help a lot of people out there that has posted, I bought this drive and it won't work. This is what I found. Hopefully this will work um, for everybody. I know I've used the Samsung's and Western Digital software. Samsung software that you download will not let you make a USB drive. So if you buy other, anything other than the Western Digital, you may have to look at what software you can use to boot in. But that's the configurations that I found for the Western Digital that really made things a lot easier that I wanted to pass on because I've seen a lot, a lot of posts and I saw a lot of things of comments that people have said that won't help. And I physically have done it and got it to work. I want everybody to know that this is possible. I'm sure there's other systems out there that probably have the same issue that, you know, I just didn't see that people were having the same issue because I didn't look up at that exact model. But hopefully this will help a lot of people, professionals, home users, even gamers, everybody on how to do this if you have that system or a system that's doing the same thing. Thank you.